You mean, you mean come up with a new name? Like Skinny Fun Powder? Or probably not Miff? I, I, I love how every time. Oh, I can't believe it's not Miff. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, utterly methily? That doesn't make sense. It's only a pun when it's with butter. I w I, I've been, um, so far this entire session, I don't know why, but I've been playing with the air pressure tire gauge thing. To be fair, I've got a hairband that I'm just flicking around my finger. You and your fucking hairbands, man, dude. Go listen to Poison or something <laughs> elsewhere. There's no time for it here. I just really like Def Leppard. <laughs> give me the, the Def Leppard cover of uh, I'm Never Gonna Give You Up. No. <laughs> just no. <laughs> I thought about it for a second, but then I thought, I'm not capable of doing that. So, no. He's doing it in his head right now. I know. Yeah, I, I, I am. It. I forgot what song, actually. I'm never going to give you up. <laughs> yeah, Rick Astley. In fact, I don't listen to a lot of hair. Never going to give, never going to give. Give you up. <laughs> I don't listen to a lot of hair mail. I don't think I'll be able to do that justice. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, and on that note... I'm tempted... Oh, hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to... Oh, hi. We didn't see you there. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. <laughs> I'm so lame. <laughs> when I was a, a kid, we were on holiday in Florida. Me and my family. And I was, like, in the pool with my mum. Like, I was, like, ten at the time, just swimming in the pool with my mum. And for a ten-year-old, I had a pretty weird sense of humour. And we would do... Yeah. Pretending we'd do, like kids tv shows and we had an inflatable dolphin as their guest and like would start every episode like oh hello i didn't see you then i don't know why as, <laughs> as a 10 year old i found it so <laughs> funny just <sighs> sorry somehow in my mind the only equivalent story i have to that is i remember being like four years old one time and driving matchbox cars on my mom's boobs in a bathtub <laughs> <laughs> that is a I mean, it's an adjacent ah! story. It contains both mums and water. But <laughs> I just want to say that one time I watched an episode of Family Guy and Stewie was... I, I don't remember what he says. He says something along the lines of like, I thought there were mountains for my Matchbox cars in the bathtub and it just hit home so much because I did the same thing once <laughs> and it was really weird. But uh, <laughs> anyway, When you're a kid, you don't know, do you? Perfect. No, uh, no. I don't know. I don't. I, I need to get in with Vera. I need to make angles with Vera. But this dude looks interesting. And the Coven are sitting over here, and they're they're always cool. Oh, that's right. I don't know. I really don't know. I've got to make a. I've got to make a play on Vera. I've got to do it. You find Vera. And Polly. Polly's her name. At, that's at it. the table. Wait, I thought it was Miranda. No, Miranda's the. Oh, Polly's the ghost. Yeah. Miranda's the... We haven't even heard the ghost speak once this no, episode. No, we have. This oh, session. This is a double me. It's a double me. Yeah, it is. And we've gotten so little Scott. No, oh, we do need more Scott. We do need more Scott. All right. Business idea. People pay a monthly subscription to prevent me from drugging their food. Oh, shit. Business idea. People pay me a monthly subscription to put drugs in their food. They I think both of those things exist already. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Business idea. Price out the cafeteria's current food supplier by selling plastic food. <laughs> Business idea? Nipples. <laughs> yes. In. Sold. I'm in for 30,000 for 15%. <laughs> that was such a weird number. Just nipples? Yeah. Just. Yeah. Nipples. Okay. Wait, business but wait, wait, business idea. Use clever marketing and food science. I can't do a voice anymore. It's gone. I couldn't do it before. I definitely can't do it now. She was like Mickey Mousey, wasn't it? You did it fine before. Really? <laughs> Just embrace it. She's Mickey Mouse yeah. now. Use clever marketing and food Southern science to create the perfect new diet craze and sell it for insane profit. Oh! <laughs> That's actually a really good idea. She was more Mickey Mousey before, I think. Better than nipples? That's more like it. Yeah, we just need to figure out what our new diet product will be. Ooh. 
tapeworms. They're gluten-free, dairy-free, 100% organic, and you can get them for free from sick cows. Meth. It's what's for lunch. Oh, <laughs> you don't know. I love that there's uh, now clips of me saying those things <laughs> on the internet, so that's funny. <laughs> Meth. It's that what's exists. for lunch. That's a soundbite. If we ever wanted to make an advert for meth, we've got the clips for it. I'm going to go with meth. It's what for lunch. Oh, fuck you, Polly. I didn't want to make you happy. I've got the clips for it. And I also got the meth for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know I was just complaining the other day <laughs> that I weigh more meth than I can ever do myself. You don't do meth. The, I mean... The... I mean, you shouldn't do meth. I agree on that. That's definitely what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> the profit margin will be incredible. The problem is the name. Meth has a really terrible reputation. You need to rebrand. Let's change it to them. <laughs> <laughs> you mean, you mean come up with a new name? Like Skinny Fun Powder or probably not meth? I love how every time. Oh, I can't believe it's not myth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, utterly methily. That doesn't make sense. It's only a pun when it's with butter. Methane. <laughs> yeah, it's meth free. Except not either of those. Oh, yeah. Except not either of those. And by either, I mean any of the things you said, because you added on extra stuff. <laughs> that I wasn't aware of in law. Oh, ow, I know I've got the perfect name. Don't say. Nipples. Oh God. Kill me. Your voice for Vera has gotten much better, I will say, it's evolved. Yeah, yeah, I'm liking where it's at now. But it turns out Nipples is the perfect name for a drug you want to sell to high school students. Polly makes a killing, and the drug turns to be a very romantic bonding experience for the two of you. Oh, let's go. Oh. So, so what do I do now? Do I steer into the skid and like go into Polly just to secure a date? Or do I still chase down Vera? That's up to you, good sir. Mm. Where are you going, Polly? Damn, now you did, a, even though you got points with Polly, you did effectively stop me from sitting with Vera, so... um. That's interesting. True, true. Um, all right, let's see what this tiger dude's about, and I'll do some Scott. Okay. Uh, let's see this. Let's see. You get the tiger dude. Really? Okay. <laughs> you find Scott and Damien shoveling hot dogs and mashed potatoes into their mouths while Coach cheers them on. Oh, it's Coach. coach. Always believe in yourself. Go, boys. Oh, damn, go. I got a good Munch your way to victory, and there's no truer sport than eating contest. <laughs> Can he just be constantly out of breath? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like that would be great for my throat. <laughs> Sorry. What is he saying? Uh, uh oh, I get it. Thanks, <laughs> Crouch! Uh, because his mouth's full. I don't even know how to say that. That's you. Shinners and linen earth! <laughs> it looks like it's a pretty fair fight so far, but where's the fun in that? Time to step in and tip the balance. Do you distract Scott with surprise fireworks or slaver Damien's dogs in holy ketchup? Gonna have to go with the second one there. Not a big fan of Damien, and I know how much he loves holy ketchup. You pull out your bottle of Brother Caliente's father, son. <laughs> what? Father, son. Oh, oh, okay. You pull out your bottle of Brother Caliente's father, son, and the Holy Ghost pepper ketchup and dump it on Damien's dogs. <laughs> mm, yeah, finally a sauce hot enough for... Oh, fuck! My soul is melting! <laughs> Power through, Damien! The heat feeling is just the fires of determination. <laughs> no fire I can handle! This ketchup is fucking consecrated! I'm having an allergic reaction! Allergic reactions are just weakness <laughs> leaving the body, Damien. 
Keep it up. I'm out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's wrong and dangerous advice, coach. I quit. Good job. Well, I guess that makes Good Scott job. the winner. Congratulations, Scott. Hooray! Hooray! I love winning. <laughs> hooray! Hooray! Now will someone take me to the nurse's office? Hooray! I love helping! Scott rushes off carrying Damien's smoking body and you rush just a little closer to Scott's heart. Aww. Oh, I didn't really want Scott's heart. Then why did, I mean, why did you poison I love Scott. Damien? He's best boy. Because I just... No. <laughs> Player order is decided based on how early you would die during a zombie apocalypse. Start debating now. Wait. I, I can win this debate did, with just, one sentence. Did it skip... Us saying something, we just have to debate. I think, over no, I think this. it's debating about us, so we don't have to say anything because it's us. Okay. So I can. How early would you die in a zombie apocalypse, Ryan? Pretty early, but not as early as you. Wh Why would I die so early? Because the alcohol would run out real fast. Oh, you kidding me, dude? I'd be swimming in alcohol. I'd alcohol myself to death. Oh, wait. Yeah. I win! <laughs> <laughs> well said. Good I sir. fucking love this game. This. Like, we, are def we, sure. we are definitely recording episodes of the second year, second semester or whatever. Second term, yeah. And the crazy thing is, like, once we've done that, once I've recorded it all, because I want to go in blind, I am playing this again and again on my own. Hell yeah. I will too. Yeah. I'll probably buy it. The crazy thing is, like, We'll record second term after this, but we could definitely get like at least like four or five more playthroughs. Oh yeah, of just the, the base game definitely, too. Definitely, definitely, and I, I would consider it to be fair. I'll definitely be up for that. Yeah. If the viewers we'll at home would like it, ooh, I think ooh. they do. Uh, let us know in the comments down below, and like, comment, and subscribe, and all that jazz, and follow me on Twitter, and follow Ginko on OnlyFans, and. Ooh, yeah, follow Ginko on OnlyFans. Can we start all our episodes by asking people to subscribe and tickle the bell and hit the like button before they've even heard what we have to offer like a bunch of cancerous assholes? <laughs> Give us £50 a month on Patreon and we will send you our toe every month. A single toe. <laughs> and we run out of toes, then... Well, that's up to you. <laughs> You've run out of toes, then you're going to get something else. And you may or may not like it, depending on your feeling about cocks. <laughs> and on that note, I think we're going to say goodbye. So goodbye, everyone. I hope you enjoy your afternoon or your morning or whatever time of day it is there. And we'll... Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. I had the time of my life. And I always... To you.